I'm sitting here on Living the Dream Private Street, checking out the firehouse. Absolutely incredible. Look at this street. It was public, it's now private, and it is Living the Dream. You can't make it up. The sign is right there. But the reason we're here is to check out the firehouse. If you remember, this is the before pictures. It was horrendous actual fire. And we got it done, and we got it done in just a little over two months. Now, in the fire world, that's lightning fast. Average fire is about 10 months from what I hear. So this was really fast. We pulled everybody off and got it finished. Brand new paint, new windows. I mean, it's a brand new house. We did a little um, gravel. As you know, I don't spend any money on landscaping. This is as far as I'll go. Uh, it's low maintenance. It is nice. New paint, windows, roof. I mean, the whole thing is brand new. They painted the door black. So let's take a look. Let's see what the inside looks like. Whew, let's take a look. It is so hot. It's 110 in Phoenix. And there is no AC, no electric. Uh, they took it out because the house, you can't live in it. You have to go through all the permits. So let's see. I mean, you can see the walls, all the black smoke. Um, all this duct. They broke it all in. Obviously, all the windows are broken from the fire department. Kitchen seems fine. Fine enough. Cabinets. Fridge is still here. Let's take a look. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Look at this. New paint, looks a lot different. It is ready to make money. Brand new kitchen, brand new cabinets. Looks, uh, you know, nice stainless steel appliances. It is incredible, look at this. And let's, let's look at the most important room where the fire actually started. Oh, wow, this is where the fire started. Look at, look at the ceiling. They usually open it up to let it air out. And this is where the fire originated. There's not much left. Television is all melted. Just really unfortunate, but I am glad nobody was hurt. It was this room, if you remember. All of this was opened up, all the windows were broken. Look at this, brand new. Like it never even happened. This room was really bad. I mean, okay, wow. Mainly the mess when they cut up the ceiling, but it seems in the windows broken, but doesn't seem too bad in this room. Look at the befores. I'm going to put a few before pictures and look at it now. Nice closet. All, everything brand new, new flooring in the rooms. It's got a lot. Bathroom's really nice. And you got this room. Obviously windows, closet. I mean, absolutely incredible. This room seems mainly just fine. Ceiling is good. Uh, window was broken. Um, as you can see, the air, there's black everywhere. So the AC unit sucked up all these black smoke. So my guess, we're going to change all the HVAC, all the duct work. Let's check out in this room. Again, new, new paint. There's the closet. Separate entrance, straight from living the dream, which is amazing. And they have their own bathroom. I don't know what they did here, but hey, looks good. Nice and clean, brand new. I like it. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Looks good, another little room. Let's take a look at the backyard. Let's take a look at the backyard. 
Looks amazing. We're gonna leave it just like this. If the tenants wanna put money in landscaping, they can, but I'm gonna leave it just like this. The shed, I still need to change the windows. They got broken in a few times while we were remodeling. But it's got a nice storage. Look at that. Somebody's gonna like it, it gives you more storage. What's this here? Not bad, not bad. And then obviously the actual backyard is not that big, but with this whole street, living the dream street, look at the privacy. Nobody to your left, nobody behind. Incredible, absolutely incredible. As I'm sitting here in the room where the fire actually started, I am reminded again that we need to always plan for the unforeseen. You hope that it never happens. You hope that your house never burns down, but it actually happens. For that reason, I always recommend keeping insurance and keeping a writer for your lost rent so that you get paid rent while it's sitting vacant and while it's being remodeled. Now, on the deductibles, I always recommend very high deductibles, $5,000, $10,000, even higher because you should never use insurance unless it's something catastrophic like a major flood, fire, or something else. The reason is this claim alone is going to cost me 20 to 25% across the board annual increase on all my insurance. It sounds crazy, but it's still penciled. It's better than me paying out of pocket to fix this one. So plan for the unforeseen and no, this is not going to discourage me from buying more. In fact, I'm buying more as we speak, and you should too. Buy more houses so you can have more freedom, leverage your wealth, and live the dream.